Hi there, I'm Katie for Rusticate, and I'm going to be showing you how to make a double stitch. Okay, so the first step in needle tatting is to thread your needle. Once you have it threaded and you have roughly 12 inches to 2 feet of tail on this, then you are ready to get started. And you're going to hold the needle in your right hand, right like that, in that position, almost as if you were using a magic wand. So envision a magic wand or a conductor's baton. Okay, with the left hand, you're going to take the thread, the thread that runs to the ball, and you are going to slide it down the thread about a foot again, a foot to two feet. At this point, you're going to use your bottom three fingers as a guide for your thread, and you're going to close them over it, making almost a pistol shape with your left hand. So now that you have your hand positioning down, then we're ready to get started with the double stitch. And since it's called a double stitch, you know there's going to be two parts to it. So we're going to do the first part first. And so for this, you're going to go ahead and take your thread, the one that runs between the needle and your hand, like this. You want to wrap it around in a clockwise motion. Once you have the first part of your double stitch started, which again, remember, is wrapping the thread around your left index finger in a clockwise motion, you're going to bring your needle over and bring it up from the base of your palm up. And you're going to just kind of scoop that thread. Once it's on the needle, you're going to bring out your left index finger and your right index finger you're going to use to just kind of hold it on the needle. And it's just going to hold it still and secure while you finish that next step. So the next step of your double stitch, your second part of it, is to actually take that same left hand index finger, and this time you're going to do a counterclockwise motion. Once you have it around your finger in a counterclockwise motion, you're going to bend it over, and you'll see where it's right here. This time you're going to take it and you're going to go from your knuckle towards your fingernail and scoop that thread again. Once it's on there, you're going to pull your left index finger out, pull those threads together, right like that, and that is your double stitch. And it's going to look right like that. So if we do that one more time, this time I'll just let you watch. First part, second part. Now we have two double stitches. If we do that one more time, go first part of the double stitch is clockwise from the bottom, scoop it, pull it tight. Second part of the double stitch is counterclockwise. Remember counterclockwise, bend it, come from the knuckle towards the nail. Remove the finger, slide it together, and we have three double stitches. So keep practicing that. Watch the video again if you need. Mm -hmm. 